Hello children, welcome back to our next session. In this session, we are going to learn how many types of angles are there. In geometry, there are various types of angles based on measurement. The names of basic angles are acute angle, right angle, obtuse angle, straight angle, reflex angle, complete angle and one more is there that is zero angle. There are seven types of angles based on their measurements. One is acute angle, right angle, obtuse angle, straight angle, reflex angle, complete angle and zero angle. An angle is formed geometrical shape. Already we discussed what is an angle. An angle is geometrical shape formed by joining two rays at their end point. At their end point. An angle is usually measured in degrees based on their measurements. The angle names are here. As acute, right, obtuse, straight, reflex and complete angle. First one, acute angle. What is an acute angle? An angle is a type of An acute angle is a type of angle whose measure is greater than 0 degrees and less than 90 degrees. If you check in the protractor, we are having two scales, inner scale and outer scale. They both are from 0 to 180 degrees. So from 0 to 90 degrees, in that, an, an acute angle is greater than 0 degrees and less than 90 degrees. Greater than 0 degrees and less than 90 degrees. It is greater than 0 degrees and less than 90 degrees is called an acute angle. What is a right angle? A right angle is a type of angle whose measure is exactly equal to 90 degrees. Right angle as we discussed in our previous talk. Session. Right angle measures exactly 90 degrees. If it is less than 90 degrees, it is acute angle. If it is exact 90 degrees, it is a right angle. And what is an obtuse angle? An obtuse angle is a type of angle whose measure is greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees. It is greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees is called obtuse angle. An obtuse angle is greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees. And what is a straight angle? A straight angle is a type of angle whose measure is exactly equal to 180 degrees. Whose angle is exactly equal to 
180 degrees is called as straight angle. It is also called 180 degree angle. The name of a 180 degree angle is a straight angle. What is the other name of straight angle? 180 degree angle. 180 degree angle is also called a straight angle. Complete angle. What is a complete angle? It is a type of angle whose measure is exactly 360 degrees. It is also called a full angle. It is also called a full angle. And whose measure is exactly equal to 360 degrees? It is a complete angle. It is a complete angle and measures exactly 360 degrees and it is also called as a full angle. Next, reflex angle. What is a reflex angle? A reflex angle is an angle that is more than 180 degrees. More than 180 degrees and less than 360 degrees. Reflex angle is an angle which is more than 180 degrees and less than 360 degrees. For example, 270 degrees is a is a reflex angle which is greater than 180 degrees and less than 360 degrees. This is called reflex angle. This is called reflex angle. Which is more than 180 degrees and less than 360 degrees. And finally zero angle. What is zero angle? If there is no rotation. If there is no rotation. If there is no rotation, then it is called zero angle. If there is no rotation, then it is called zero angle. If it is greater than 180 degrees and less than 360 degrees, it is called reflex angle. If the measure is exactly 360 degrees, then it is called complete angle or full angle. If it is greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees, it is called obtuse angle. If it is exactly 180 degrees, it is called straight angle or 180 degree angle. If it is Less than 90 degrees and greater than 0 degrees is called acute angle. And if it is exactly 90 degrees is called right angle. See children, this is an angle from here and this is exactly 90 degrees. If it is less than 90 degrees and greater than 0 degrees, it is called acute angle. If it is exactly 90 degrees, it is called right angle. If it is greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees, it is called obtuse angle. If it is exactly 180 degrees, it is called straight angle. If it is more than 180 degrees and Less than 360 degrees, it is called reflex angle.
if it is exactly complete and exactly 360 degrees it is called complete angle if there is no rotation it is called zero angle based on the rotation of the ray we get different types of angles if there is no rotation and it is a zero angle identify and mark right angles in the given images to identify the right angles keep in your mind letter l letter l shows the right angle you have to identify and mark right angles in the given images mark right angles children identify and mark the right angles in the given images you will get many right angles which measures exactly 90 degrees next observe the angles formed by the book here three types of angles are there name the angle that looks like a right angle which angle is looked like a right angle yes this one because it measures exactly 90 degrees and what is the angle name angle x y z name the angle that looks smaller than the right angle smaller than the right angle is an acute angle with a greater than 0 degrees and less than 90 degrees that is angle a c a b name the angle that looks greater than the right angle that is greater than the 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees that is angle e f g in this way you have to complete it. measure the given angles using a protractor write the name of the angle and its type one is done for you already one is done for you and remaining angles you have to name you have to write the name of the angle and its type also you will do this yes use the protractor and write the names of the angle and its type also when the arm is stretched out completely the angle formed is a straight angle children all of you stretch your arm and check yes it is completely straight angle there you can observe straight angle with 180 degrees the angle formed depends on how much one ray has rotated away from another ray this is the initial ray and this is the terminating ray and the angle is formed depends on how much one ray has rotated away from the other ray if we stretch our arm there we find the angle straight angle we represent a right angle with a square we represent a right angle with a square all other angles are represented with arcs only right angle be represented with the square and remaining all we used we represent them with arcs there is a hands on activity in your studio children look at the way the arm is open to form different angles form similar angles using your arms and write the type of angle form by using your arms also you can find the different types of angles 
If you stretch your arm completely, we get 180 degree straight angle. Now, by using your arm, now tell me which type of angle is this? Yes, here there is a right angle. The angle formed is a right angle with 90 degrees. Here which angle is formed? Yes, it is less than 90 degrees and greater than 0 degrees. It is an acute angle. Next, the angle formed is an, it is greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees. It's an obtuse angle. When do you think an angle will be zero? Draw in the given box. Yes, when there is no rotation, then the angle is zero angle. When there is no rotation, then there is a zero angle. Based on the rotation, we classify the angles. Is it clear children? How many types of angles are there? And how are they classified based on the rotation? Yes. Remaining topic we will discuss in our next session.